Hi, let's take a look at an example using the equations for mirror images to examine where you would see an image for an object when you look in a side view mirror in your car. And you may have noticed on side view mirrors and the rear view mirror, it often says objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. And the reason for that is because those mirrors aren't plain mirrors where you have the same image distance as you have object distance. Objects in those mirrors are either reduced or enlarged depending on the curvature of the mirror and the curvature for those rear view mirrors either on the side of your car or the rear view mirror in the center of your windshield are always, always, always convex curvature. Now convex curvature gives you a wider field of vision, but it reduces the size of the image. And in reducing the size of the image, it makes the object appear a little farther away from our perspective than it actually is because our brain is used to processing the size of an object to give us an idea of how far away it is. There are a lot of forced perspective games you can play with a camera to make something seem giant and something seem tiny playing on that, where you just place an object closer to the camera and if it stays in focus and both stay in focus, then something looks huge to my tiny screen. Whereas when I'm right next to my screen, we're in the right perspective, so our relative sizes are correct compared to each other. So, say that the side view mirror we're looking at has a focal length of negative 0.60 meters. And it's negative because it can't create real images, it's a diverging mirror, it's convex. And let's say that we have an object here, some sort of car, that happens to be 15 meters away from the mirror. So, where is that image going to appear in the mirror? So, we can use our image location to locate the image distance, and from that, we can calculate the magnification, and based on the magnification, we can figure out, do we get something that's enlarged, reduced, do we have something that is upright, inverted? So let's look at the details. We know our object distance P. We know our focal length F. We need to solve for Q. So 1 over Q is going to equal 1 over our focal length minus 1 over our object distance P. And let's get rid of all of the fractions and bring it down to just 1. So on the right hand side, I'm going to force myself to have a common denominator by multiplying 1 over my focal length, the numerator and denominator by my object distance p, and 1 over my object distance, numerator and denominator get multiplied by the focal length. So that means my object distance minus my focal length divided by my object distance times my focal length is 1 over my image distance, or more easily, the image distance is the object distance times the focal length divided by the object distance minus the focal length. So, if we're dealing with a single convex mirror where we have a negative focal length, we would have a positive number times a negative number divided by something that will always be a positive number. So for a single negative focal length optical object, we're always going to get a negative image distance, and a negative image distance means we're dealing with a virtual image, not a real image. So, that virtual image, we have 15 meters times negative 0.6 meters, divided by 15 meters minus a negative gives me plus 0.6 meters. So if I take 6 meters squared divided by 15.6 meters, I get negative 0.58 meters for the location of my image. Now for my magnification, since I know my image distance 
and I know my object distance, my magnification in terms of image and object distances are minus Q over P. So I have minus negative 0 0.58 meters. I get a positive value divided by 15 meters. So that means my magnification is positive. So my image is upright 0 0.038 meters. And because my magnification factor is less than one, our image is reduced in size. Now, if we were to have a flat plane mirror, then what would end up happening is this car is this distance P away. The image would be 15 meters away inside the mirror. And then there'd be a little bit of a travel distance for that light to get from the mirror to our eye. So looking at a car that's about 17 meters away, it's going to appear smaller than if we were standing right in front of the car. So if we had, say, an object height, then we could sort of imagine what we would expect that object height to be at that total distance away, just using basic ideas of geometric perspective. Now, with our magnification, our image is only 58 centimeters into the mirror, but that image got reduced in size as well. So if we were to take the actual height of the car, multiply it by that magnification factor, then that would give us the size of that object. And then based off the sort of size and the distance that that object is into the mirror compared to travel into our eye, our eye sets a perspective where it thinks based off the size of that car, based off how large we know cars to be, that that car image happens to be at a different location than what it really is. It looks like it's farther away because it's artificially been shrunk in size, even accounting for the fact that there would be that difference in image distance between a flat mirror and a convex mirror. Thanks for watching.